Hi, this is Ryan with Tremani. Today we're going to take a look at customizing the header for the Divi and Extra theme. A couple of these things will apply to both themes, and then a couple of things will just apply to Extra, which is the example shown here. So we'll start with the things that apply to both Divi and Extra. The first thing being that in the mobile menu, the secondary nav shown here on Extra is included in the mobile menu dropdown, and sometimes that can often clutter the mobile menu, drag it down too far. So you can see the three extra items about contact and terms are included here. If we want to get rid of one or all of these items, then we can just create a class here in the menus. And I've got the secondary menu selected. In screen options, make sure you have the CSS classes view selected so that when you open the uh, menu items you can see the CSS classes optional um, field here. Let's just create a class called mobile hide and we'll do this on two of the three but we'll keep terms. So terms will show when we have the mobile look. Save the, save the menu and then in our theme options or in our child theme we'll place a code snippet here called media screen um, mobile high display none and next thing I'd like to do is change the logo once the fixed nav comes into play so if you have this enabled you see that there's no option in DV or extra to swap out the logos when we scroll it just shrinks um, to do so we can add something to the custom CSS make sure to have the fixed nav logo URL um, in this area and then save changes. Now this is important to note that this works for Chrome and Safari but not Firefox or Edge. Um, if you want something that is more supported across browsers you have to use a jQuery method. Um, works for DV but not for extra as far as I can tell so that's why since we're showcasing extra um, we're just going to add the CSS um, to make it change for Chrome and Safari users, but for Firefox us users, they will still see the same logo displayed. All right, now we're going to talk about some DB specific, or excuse me, extra specific changes. One of the things that I like about uh, DB is that there's no underline here. I think that gets a little noisy, especially when you have a drop down. So we're going to remove that, and to do so, we just need to add a couple different lines here. Um, so let's go to this. And add it below what we've already added. Um, so these two lines dictate the change for both the primary menu and the fixed nav. Um, so this line is the for the fixed header. Um, if you have not enabled the fixed nav, you don't need this. But if you um, have and would like that underline to um, be hidden for fixed nav as well as the primary menu, then you need to have both things. All right, refresh. And you can see that line's gone. It's a lot cleaner. Okay, the last thing for extra is to change this so that it's a little bit more in line with our theme. 